most of my friends and gangs My new nickname is Genghis Khan But without the yay, but his last name's my side I ride with that demeanor I'm armed to the teeth You're Venus and you've never been to the Venus What's good, y'all? Genghis Khan I fucked that intro up Let's just go to the video. I don't deserve to redo that intro. But what we got is a jump shot tutorial. How to shoot in NBA 2K20. I'm not going to shoot a whole lot of jumpers in this particular video. I will link my jump shot video with me greening over and over again in the uh, description. And if you watch some of my old gameplays, um, you know that's what I do over and over again. But I want to explain more than I want to shoot. I don't just want to put something in front of y'all face. And say, oh, he greens every time. Use this jumper. That's not what I want to do. But I do want to talk about a couple things. Now, what I do want to talk about is the variables. The variables, the things that are the things that always change or subject to change, you should forget about those. So I'll take a jump shot and explain what I mean. Okay. So this is what I mean. The release that I just shot is going to be different in Pro-Am, in Park, and in the Rec. So what you want to do is you want to forget about two variables. First off, the shot meter. You want to abandon the shot meter. Why? Because the shot meter is going to fill up different in the Pro-Am, is going to fill up different in Park, and is going to fill up different in my career and the Rec. So you want to forget about that. The second thing you want to forget about is your rhythm jumpers. Stop thinking about, I, just, I heard my brother say the other day when we were playing, he was like, I release it the same way. Stop thinking about jumpers like that. Think about jumpers as completely visual. The reason that a lot of people miss jumpers, they'll green once and miss two or three shots. The reason that they do that is not necessarily because they take bad shots. It's because they focus on the rhythm and the visual. Never think that you have your jumper down. Always look at the visual. Now, that brings me to the third point. A lot of people don't have visual jumpers or they do and they don't pay attention to it. My jumper is, when the jumper gets above his head, I release the ball. I know that that is the point I need to release it. And I know if I miss, it's not because of lag, it's not because of anything, it's because of me. And that's a relief because I know the power is in my hands. So that's the only way I don't green, is if I release it wrong. But when the ball is over his head, I release it. So, like so. Okay. Like so, as you see, when the ball was over his head, I'll show you, I'll go into the jump shot creator, actually show you. But once the ball was over his head, I released it. I'm not going by rhythm. I'm not going by anything like that. I'm going by when I see the ball go over his head. Fourth thing, in my opinion, that's where you guys want to stay. You want to focus on the ball, and you want to focus on your player's head. I like to get jumpers that either release that either the ball releases at the player's hairline or above his head. Get a jumper like that, and I'll actually go in and I'll actually show you what I mean. So I'll show you this jumper one um, a couple more times. As you see, and always, always stay in your hot zones. I mean, you can get a certain place where you're not in your hot zones, but of course it's going to be shorter. So try to stay in your hot zones. I pretty much got hot zones all around the court. This, this is the spot that I have the most trouble shooting or used to have the most trouble shooting because I wasn't paying attention to it. I used to have a jumper that I just used to feel for it. So when I got right here and it kind of changed the, the timing of it, I was missing. So... This is what would happen. Okay, just like that. This is what happens now, not this is what ha what would happen. This is what happens now. You see, I don't have hot zones right here because I didn't used to shoot from there at all because I didn't know how to because I wasn't looking at my visual. So, sorry if y'all saw that. So, this is what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to find the visual jumpers let's go to my player appearance 
jump shot creator. Okay, I messed up, guys. I said jump shot creator. What I actually meant was my animations because I want to show you guys what I actually mean. So this is what I mean. I'll go into my jump shots. As I told you guys, my jumper is Paul George. But I have these jumpers that I also just like to use when I'm having fun. And look, what is the common thing between all of them? Clay Thompson releases the ball when it gets to his forehead. Every jumper I have involves the head and the ball. So when I go in to Pro-Am and I figure out how to release a jumper, I figure out, does this jumper release at the forehead? Does this jumper release at the top of the head? Or does this jumper release at kind of the back of the head? Those three things. If the jumper doesn't fit into those three categories, I do not get it. I do not get it. As you can see, forehead. 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 Over his head. Over, as you can see, once the ball gets over his head, release. Cal Corver, forehead. Forehead. Or hairline, as I like to say. So that's what I wanted to show y'all. That's what I focus on. Also, let me show y'all something. As you can see, none of these jumpers are making noise, right? But when I go to my nigga LeBron jumper, it's just clanking. Like, oh, you know this nigga clanking. First of all, stop hanging on my nigga LeBron. Stop doing that. All right. So let me go back into here really quick into the program arena and show you what you are doing and probably what you're going to do even after you watch this video. What you focus on and what you should be focusing on. Okay, we back. So this is what you guys do. This is what you do. You get the ball. And you say, okay, you release the jumper like you think it should be released. I hope I don't get a green on accident because it kind of defeats the purpose. Okay, so let's try to shoot. You be like, okay, okay, that's, that's slightly late. So let me release a little bit earlier. Okay, that was cool. So that was about two seconds, I think. So one, two, nope. That was late. Okay, let me release a little bit earlier. You, you see how inconsistent that is? But that's what most people do. Or most people look at the arms and be like, okay, when his arms go back, let me release. Dang, slightly late. Okay, well, let me make sure when he at the height of his jump to release. Dang, no, that's not it. Focus on the ball, the head, and that gives you the best chance to make jump shots. Now, I'll take jumpers from the same exact spots that I took them now. But I'll do it how I do it. Release the ball once it gets over his head. Okay. You see green. We try to green again. Green. And I think we took like one more spot. Like right here. Green. Okay. So what I did differently was I didn't focus on release timing. Release timing is bullshit. I didn't focus on his arms. Looking at the arms is bullshit. I didn't focus on the body. Looking at the body is bullshit. What, you, what visual you want to focus on is the ball and the head. Once the ball gets over his head or to his hairline or behind his ear, that's what you want to focus on. And that's how you will improve. So from the very beginning, really quick, variables. Forget about the variables, the things that change. The things that are going to change are the shot meter timing when you're in different game modes. And what's also is going to change is the shot timing of the shot meter. I'm sorry, and just the shot timing in general. It's what's going to change. So these are things you want to forget about. Visual, visual, visual. And like I said, I will link um, my jump shot video just with just a jump shot compilation of me just greening over and over again. And you guys will see what I'm talking about. Like I said, I just wanted this to be more of a tutorial type thing. I don't want to just take a bunch of jump shots and say, hey, ha -cha -cha -cha, look at me, use this jumper. No, I want to actually tell you what you're doing wrong and what you should be doing. All right, I will check y'all later. Like I said, like and subscribe, and I'll be back at y'all with another video.